heading to the beach for the day and you don't want to take your keys, or you just want a place to put your spare key, now there's Hitch Safe. Of course, let's not forget to cover it up. Welcome back to another Jeff Reviews for you. And in this video, we are looking at the Hitch Safe. And to be honest with you, I purchased this just for the coolness factor. Let's get right into the review and see how this works. Here we are with yet another item that Instagram made me buy. This is called a hitch safe and it is what it says it is. You put this inside of your receiver hitch, two inch hitch, and it's a little safe. Let's do a quick unboxing. I thought this was gonna be simple because I see some of these push spots there and I thought this was gonna be easy, but it's not. So I actually have to break out the zip snip. I tell you what, if the hitch safe is half as good as the packaging it came in, this thing is gonna be awesome. I see right off the bat we have some spacers. That's because not all hitch receivers are made the same. They do tell me that the factory password is reset to all zeros. Let's see. Cool, it opened up. Just a little space in there for you to hide your valuables. The length of this is just about four and three quarters of an inch. And then of course we are less than two inches around and that makes sense because that's the size of the hitch that it goes into. The storage box itself is just about three and a half inches long, a little over an inch and an eighth wide and about an inch and an eighth deep. Just so you know the amount of storage space that you actually have. Now we are gonna change the password. The default here is all zeros. First things first, we need to look on the side and you see there's a screw right here. So we actually have to turn that screw one quarter turn to the right and that unlocks, well, the lock changing part. Now that we're unlocked, let's change the code. I'm just gonna do something simple. Maybe we'll just do one, two, three, and four. And since we're done there, we take our screw and turn it right back to where it was and we have officially changed the passcode. The directions tell you before you use this again, after you change the lock, make sure it works. So you push down the open and these retract in on both sides. If not, well, it'll be more difficult to get it open. We are gonna go install this in just a little bit, but I wanted to show you something. It comes with this cover and I really like that because if I have this just sitting on the end of my car, people are gonna tell that's a safe. But if you put this here, cover it up, it looks almost like any other two inch hitch out there just covered. Now we're gonna work on the install. I do wanna show you that there are these bars that are on the inside that you actually have to pull up. See how I can move that? And I'm gonna take this piece on the outside out when it gets to the end. And that actually corresponds, you can see it here, it corresponds almost like a lock right there. So when it's open, I can slide it in and then this locks it into place and now I can't get it out. There's one of those on each side. So let's take those out. And this is how we actually install it onto our car. As I told you before, these are spacers because not every two inch receiver is the same. And so they want you to be able to get the best fit that you can for your vehicle. So you can use some of these, you might use none of these, you might use all of them. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go try it out right now. I do think it's convenient that they labeled it, try to make this as foolproof as possible. It's time to install this into our hitch receiver. They do say this fits most, and I've read some comments that there are some hitches that it just doesn't go into. Mine happens to fit. The only problem I see is that's where the um, lock will line up, so I'll need at least that much of the spacers um, to put in. So let me work on that right now, and then I'll hook up the locks themselves. For this vehicle, it looks like I needed the two larger spacers. So I wanna make sure the holes here line up now. And so I, all I do is I put this piece right here, push it through. Once I get it through, I'm supposed to be able to lock it in. Oop, it didn't lock in. Let's see what happened. Oh, there it goes. It had to go all the way in. So now it should be locked in and that is stuck in there. So I'll do the same thing to the other side. Pull the bar all the way forward, put our connector piece in, push it slide the bar all the way in and that locks us in place. As I'm looking at this, I'm probably gonna fit in one more spacer in there just so it's nice and tight. Once you have this set in and locked in, you no longer have access to those pins to remove it. So just in case you're worrying, you cannot pop these out now because it's locked in place. However, if you want to remove it, you take out the safe, you pull out the pins on the inside, pop these things out on the sides and you're all done. I should say in order for you to even put this in, you have to have the correct combination in place because this won't even let me close it. So just be aware of that. You have to put at least 
it together with the correct combination and then mix it up. Now that we're all set up, installed, our password reset, put on our cover, and you'd never know it was there. So tell me, what do you think of the Hitch Safe? Is this something you would consider for your vehicle? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. So it just rained a little bit ago, and I noticed that the trailer hitch here or the hitch safe didn't have a chance to get really wet. The rest of the car did. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just spraying this off with a hose for a few minutes. We'll open it up to see if any water got inside. Now for the moment of truth, let's take this off. You know, it looks relatively dry still. Some water on the top, but that could have just come from there. I already had this unlocked, so open it up. I don't have any water on the inside. Although I wouldn't trust it to be 100% completely watertight, it actually did a really good job. In this video, we took a look at the hitch safe, something that I got drawn into because of Instagram. And when I looked it up, I almost didn't purchase it because of the price. It was nearly $70, but the coolness factor in my brain outweighed the sense of reason and I clicked buy. And that's what we have, $70 safe for your hitch. I thought the ease of install was absolutely amazing. A matter of minutes and this thing was up and running and that is very convenient. In my opinion, the company absolutely maximized the amount of space you can fit into a two inch trailer hitch receiver and the material they use is really, really high quality. I've dropped it a few times and although there are some scratches here and there, there's really no dents or dings. After I purchased this, I did some research and this product has been out for over 10 years. And I'm like, how did I never see this before? Now Instagram shows it to me. Um, there was one review that I saw and it's from the lock picking lawyer and he tore this thing apart. In fact, he was able to pick it open in like 10 seconds with just a metal shim. In all fairness though, he can almost look at a lock and it opens, so there's that as well. I wouldn't really store anything of tremendous value or even use it for long-term storage, but absolutely short-term, the day of storage, I think this thing is pretty convenient. Plus, having that rubber stopper or that cover on it, man, that just hides it altogether. I do like how the company tried to help out their customers and even though they say it does not fit all, they tried to give you different things where it would fit yours and the different receivers that I tried on, it did fit. Although I did read about some that they might have to modify it or it didn't fit at all. Anyway, that was my full review of the Hitch Safe. If this is something that interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for you. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. I wanted to show you this on a different hitch. This one's actually a lot deeper where the hole is. I might not even need to use any of the spacers. Just wanted to show you that all these different hitches or receivers are different. I like this installation because this is on the back of my camper and if I ever wanted to leave the campsite, I can just put my key in here, lock up the combination and not worry about it. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of the Hitch Safe. And on the same theme of safety and security, not that long ago, I actually reviewed a Liberty Safe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link that review right up here. Now this won't fit in the hitch of your car. Anyway, I'm gonna link that review right up here and I would love it if you would click on this link. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm gonna join you at this review. So go ahead, click it, it's safe, I promise.